Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us for our Q1 2024 new feature recap. I'm going to give folks a minute or two to jump into the webinar, but um, just a couple of things before we begin. So this session will be recorded. We will be sharing this on our newsletter so everyone will get a chance to watch it again. And um, just in case you missed anything, if you have to jump off early. But um, if everyone could say hi in the chat, if you feel comfortable, let us know where you're joining us from. We'd love to hear from you. Awesome, we got some folks coming in. Marie from Florida, Tammy, South Carolina. Awesome, thanks guys for joining. James from Chicago. Carlene from Ohio. We've also got Chris from the DC area. Stephanie from Mississippi, great to have all of you guys. Also see Amy in Atlanta. Got some folks from Denver. All right, let's go ahead and jump in everyone. So for those of you I haven't had the pleasure to talk to, my name is Jenna and I manage the onboarding team here at Time to Pet. Here are two of my babies, Boots and Joy. And I'm also joined today by Katie from Customer Experience. This is her and her dog, Roderick. Um, Katie will be in the chat answering questions as they come in. Katie says, hi, everyone. So we're consistently updating the software based on our customer feedback. We have a running feature request list that we review with our team on a biweekly basis. So if you have feedback or feature requests you'd like to share with us, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at support at timedpet.com. Today's webinar is gonna be focused on some new features that we've recently added from the past quarter, as well as some general updates from the teams. But I did want to start by talking a little bit about our DaySmart acquisition. So as many of you know, Time to Pet recently joined DaySmart, and we just want to reassure everyone, we're still here, we're still Time to Pet. Mike, Kyle, and our fabulous support onboarding teams and developers are all still here. It really just means that our product and resources will get better. We're still going to have the usual updates and improvements. But um, DaySmart is here to help support us, and we're really excited for the future as a DaySmart company. All right, so jumping into some feature updates, I wanted to start with a couple of things that you can expect to be rolled out here soon. And the first one is going to be scheduled messages in the app for admins and office managers. So this will be really great for those two roles when you're out in the field and you need to schedule a message to send at a later date and time. So you can expect this to roll out sometime in the next week. So you will see that update in the mobile app. I also wanted to mention an update to our pricing, so a new pricing plan that's going to be a scaled down version of Timed Pet. So we will have that available for customers just getting started in the industry, and it will be at a lower price point for folks that uh, may not need as many features as the current version of Timed Pet has. All right, jumping into some feature updates that have already been released. First up is visit report card icons. We have 122 new and updated visit report icons available in the mobile app section under settings and your visit report cards tab. 
We do also have a new help article that shows all of the available visit report icons if you'd like to check them out there. And we really love seeing how creative our customers get with these. They're so fun. And Katie just put the help article in the chat. Thank you, Katie. So next up, we have some updates around filtering in time to pet. So the first one here is a filter for staff by role in reporting under staff and clients. And as you may know, these filters under reporting and staff and clients are also available in the email campaign feature. So you can access this new filter in both areas. Next up, some filtering options in the client subscriptions tab. So when you are on a staff member's profile under their settings, you have the option to go into their client subscriptions and these can be enabled and disabled. You can also turn off access for certain clients. And we now have some better filtering available here to pull up staff based on the criteria you see listed here. We also have some new scheduling filters available. So you can now filter by multiple services and groups in the scheduler view. If you have more than one service in a group like dog walks, for example, this is especially helpful to quickly view all services in that service group at one time. Next up, some tipping filters are now available. So the filter options you have to choose between are show all tips, invoices with due dates between, invoices with date between, invoices with first event between, invoices with last event between, and payment received between. So this will allow you to more easily navigate through your undispersed tips and only disperse the tips that you intend to especially if you're doing so in preparation for generating your pay stubs. So next up is a new update to the pet parent onboarding tool. So this is the tool that um, allows your clients to walk through their onboarding process in a very user-friendly way. We walk them through signing your agreement, adding their info, downloading the mobile app. And what you can now do, um, admins are now able to mark onboarding as complete on behalf of the client if they've already set a password and signed the required agreements. Next up is an update in the staff permissions area of your settings. We have a new permission letting companies decide whether or not office managers can access the history tab of a client's profile so that they can see details about certain client actions if needed. All right, so kind of wrapping it up here with our updates. So from the past quarter, we've also updated a lot of resources that are available in Time to Pet. So outside of our feature updates, our customer experience team is always updating our content. In case you missed it, we have a new blog called Time to Pet by the Numbers. And this blog showcases some of the incredible data that we saw at Time to Pet from our customers last year. You're also gonna notice that our Time to Pet brand page, our free tools page, and our ebooks on our website have fresh looks and updated images. And finally, we have a very helpful blog we recently released all about our best practices for office managers, for companies that have office staff and need some tips and best practices on managing their permissions. Katie is adding some links in the chat to our free tools page our brand page, and some other resources we've listed here. So check those out. We are always updating our content and 
Um, you'll be notified when we release our product updates. You'll always see those in your dashboard and you'll get a link to the blog where you can view the latest at time to pep. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up on our end, but we wanna open the floor for any questions. Please keep in mind, we may be taking questions at this time about the recent updates. So if you do have a question to something in your account, please send us to support at timetopet.com and we would be happy to help you there. Our support team is still available today. But please let us know if you have any questions or feedback about these updates. We'd love to hear it. Hey, Krista. So Krista had a question about a new feature um, to create estimates before adding to the schedule. And that is not currently something that we're developing, but we can get your vote added to the feature request list for that, Krista, if you can reach out to us at support at timetopet.com. That would be super helpful. And then we had a question from Becky about the visit report icons article. So that article, Becky, that is to show what all of the visit report icons are, um, but we can also direct you to where to actually set those up. And Katie has linked you to the visit report cards help article. That help article has everything you need to know about actually creating the report cards and adding those fun new icons. Hey, Crystal, that is a really great feature request. It's one that we've gotten from um, a lot of our customers, and it's one we are definitely keeping track of and is on our radar. Um, guys, if you have requests for features that weren't talked about in this webinar, please send those to support at timetopet.com as well. That is the best way for us to keep track of these. And unfortunately, we can't keep track of everything in the webinar today. So Really appreciate if you guys could reach out to our support channel with those. Hey, Crystal. So the question was, are there actually different report cards now? So you actually can go in and create any report card you'd like based on your services and link those to the different services you offer. So you get the chance to customize those to be overnight report cards, dog walks, geriatric drop-ins, like you mentioned, that is totally something you can do. There is Crystal. So Katie linked that visit report card help article. If you scroll up just a little bit, um, that help article will walk you through exactly how to set those up and link them to your services. Definitely reach out to us at support at timepet.com as well if you haven't had a chance to connect with us for an onboarding call and you'd like to walk through, you know, some things over a screen share with us. That is definitely something we can do if you have not had an onboarding call yet. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up today. We really appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. These feature updates come from your feedback, and we truly appreciate each and every one of you. Please go ahead and send any other questions or feature requests to support at timedpet.com. We will answer you there. Thanks again for joining us. Everyone take care.